Hey there, how are you doing? Hope everything is fine. You know, I'm Ta and I'm your out instructor. And today I'm going to tell you about the differences between the word effect and effect. Uh, the thing is that a lot of people mix these two words up and also sometimes they make mistakes in the way that they use the word effect, for example. And to avoid that, uh, I'm having this uh, short video for you today. So let's get started. So we're having these two words, effect and effect. What are the differences? So the main thing to remember is that effect is a verb. Is a verb, right? And it means to make a change in something or in somebody, to influence, right? Effect. And then we have effect. Effect. And it's, yeah, it's a noun, okay? Which means um, a change in somebody that was caused by something, right? Basically a result. That is an effect. So let's return to our verb, effect. What's important here is that don't use any preposition after the word effect. A lot of people tend to put on after effect, but that is a mistake, all right? So you, you can say that fast food can negatively affect our health. See, no preposition. But actually, you do use a preposition with the word effect. So I will make the same sentence, but I will use a noun here, the noun effect. And also I will use it in a collocation, have an effect. Okay? So the same sentence, but using a noun. Fast food can have a negative effect on people's health. Yep, in this case, we will use the preposition on. Have an effect on. Alright, so effect plus your object and have an effect on your object. Here you have it up, on. Okay, so yeah, now you know that rule and make sure you won't make a mistake next time when you use this word. And actually, same with the word influence, right? And let's let's take that fast food thing again. So influence can be both a noun and a verb. And when you use it as a verb, you won't use any preposition, right? Let's do it one more time. Fast food can influence our health negatively, right? Fast food can influence our health negatively. No on here, right? No preposition here. And the same thing with the noun, influence. Uh, in this case, we will use a collocation, have influence on. Again, now we have on, right? So we'll say fast food can have negative influence on people's health. So hope that was clear for you and I guess that's it for today. Good luck in your IELTS preparation and I'll see you next time.